Hi YouTube, it is Dunma, and today I bring you a January slash December favorites. I didn't think about doing a favorites video until I saw one um, yesterday. I'm like, hmm, I should try that. So I ran up a few things that were kind of a big deal for me. So let's get to it. Um. The first thing is one of my favorites. I don't have it with me because it's black and it is a hoodie that I got. Um, it is from Social Repose, who's another YouTuber, and I will try to figure out how to edit a picture in over here somewhere um, so you can see what it looks like. It's a very. It was $34.99. It's so comfortable. It's just baggy enough, and I, just, I wear it all the time. So, that's my first thing that's not officially in my lap to share with you. My next things, makeup-wise, is what I got in December for my mom for Christmas. It's the Moon Dust Palette from Urban Decay. I keep it as a box because um, it's my baby. And um, being a action figure collector, you, you're so used to keeping stuff in your boxes. So... Um, then the Better Than Sex, this is the trial size a mascara. Yes, it is amazing. I love it. I will be buying a full size tube. I want to try to get the purple, which I think is in the Nikki Tutorials palette thing. Maybe I can find it by itself on Amazon or EBA or something, but that works really good. You don't, I don't use false mascara. Um, eyelashes so it really makes mine pop a little bit um, for lips I have these two things from L'Oreal Paris they're about $9.96 a piece and one is called Rose Tattoo which is what I'm wearing now and the other one is Flamboyant Flamingo and it's the only one of like the 10 shades that has like glitter shimmer in it and let's see and there it comes in two steps First, you take and you put the color on, and you gotta wait for that to dry. It gets tacky and sticky. And then after that happens, then you take this off and you put this on, which is the polish, which makes it kind of shiny and smooth, and it's very moisturizing. I, I can wear them all day. They don't like if you drink from a straw or do eating, you will have to reapply them. They aren't transfer proof or anything like that but I like them so they're in there um next is the stuff that I'm keeping in here because I have all my bath and body work stuff in the house so my mom can use it but I have kept uh, lotion and a spray out here with me um I was like well pick one you don't really like as much as the others so plus I had two of these so I got endless weekend and then I had the winter candy apple so I keep those out here with me and using those while I'm out here oh, put those back where they were before I forget and then the last makeup thing I think I have yep is nail polish by KB shimmer it's on Amazon for $9.25 a bottle but it is amazing um I have it's chipped off right now because I haven't reapplied it after about a week but this is looks like it won't focus that well but it's like you have a galaxy on your fingertips I love it it is called Royal to a Fault so maybe a fault in our stars maybe that's where they got that and plus it's royal purple so I got that one and then I've got this like oil slick looking multi-chromatic one that is called shade shifter and this one's my favorite one this one gives you the chrome look of that is so popular right now but you don't have to have a special light you don't have to have a special top coat even though they recommend you use their top coats and stuff I use this without and it looks amazing and it's called perfectly possum which is the perfect name for it um, my husband actually recommended me these because you saw a youtuber called I think his name was Pink Stylist used this one and he's like well I know you'll like it and then I found these other ones so I've got a whole bunch of them on my Amazon wish list. Um, usually takes three to four coats 
um, to get the desired result from all of them. Um, it dries, they dry extremely fast, like within five or ten minutes I can feel comfortable using my fingers to do things. Like if I use regular nail polish, like cheaper quality, it takes like two hours before I feel like, okay, I think it's hard enough, it's not going to make an indention or whatever or chip off. And it takes about a week, week and a half for it to start chipping. Um, without any top coat on because I don't use the top coat or base coat at all so anyway but that's what I don't like. um next favorite of course I got these in December my check offs you know me being an Anton Yeltsin fan had to get those guys I had to actually drive an hour to get to the nearest game stop to get that check off um that was GameStop exclusive just I just got yesterday and I like I wear it out here because I don't care if cat hair gets on it and you I use it to sleep in it's a Pikachu hoodie it's this current mood and then it's got a sleepy little Pikachu on it and it was nine bucks on clearance and this is a 2x and it's baggy on me so they're in the men's department by the way um, the last three things, um, are kind of like bedding, I guess. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see the whole thing, but anybody who knows me knows I am obsessed with Once Upon a Time. So, they happen to have this blanket that was on clearance. Let's see. It's Killian Jones, aka Captain Hook, and I will follow you... I think it says till the end of the earth. Yep, till the end of the earth. I'm not a big um, Captain Swan fan. I like Killian with the Little Mermaid. And she's coming back this season, so I'm hoping to see them. Especially with him and Emma being not on the rocks, but having drama in their relationship as usual. So, anyway. And the last two things were Christmas gifts from my husband. Um, I love the Lion King, and he found this from Baby Disney. It's a little Lion King pillow. He was going to get me the matching little baby blanket, because I always wrap my head up at night, and I have to have a really soft blanket in order to do it. And But they were sold out, so. Anyways, baby, baby Simba. Oh my god, it's so cute. And I just sleep on it like that. Oh, I have a cat hair in my mouth. There. Ah, there it goes. So, that was a gift. And then, um, excuse me, the last thing was a gift from him as well. It is a Moana tie blanket he got from Amazon, which they no longer have. They're sold out. It's it's long. It's big. But anyway, got Amazon, it's got Moana and Pua on it. And I'm a big fan of Pua. Be my favorite sidekick. I thought from the commercials that Pooh was going to be more in the movie than what he was. So, that was kind of a letdown. But, maybe when the DVD comes out, they'll have deleted scenes with Pooh. So, he, when he bought it, he did not realize it was a tie blanket. And I had never done a tie blanket before. So, two hours later, I finally got it done. And now I have an addiction to tie blankets, and we happened to have some at Walmart that were, like, from the Black Friday sale left over. So I bought, I think I've got, like, seven of them. I've got all the Star Trek ones they had. They had four different Star Trek ones. I got a kitten one for my mom. One, a plaid with a moose print on it for my mom. Um... I got John, or Lazy NPC, um, a Star Wars one, uh, Return of the Jedi with like Carrie Fisher on it because she had just passed away, so and then he was in love with her. So, like a lot of boys that were into Star Wars, so I made that for him, and then I've got a few more to do. I've got I'm trying to think of the other ones. There's another one that I cannot think of for the life of me what it was. But I've got, I've still got three more to do. So, those are my 
January slash December favorites. I'm trying to make this a quick video because most of my videos end up long because I end up rambling. So, anyway. See you later in my next video, YouTube.